Hi, this is an Adaptive Ink and Ink Bags instructional video. I'm going to walk through a process of how to rinse out the waste ink tray and wipe off the print head to recover some print quality issues that you may or may not have. Before I start, I want to bring up the, we've discovered that this printer, the Pro-X printer, is very, very sensitive to um, using a, the correct type of paper. So if you're using a laser or copy paper, be sure to switch to a, a color lock or color lock certified paper. You'll get much better print quality and you'll also prevent these quality issues. As I'll explain, there's um, there's about 42,000 nozzles on the print head and it, when it's fired into a paper that's not very absorbent, some of that ink actually gets misted back in the printer, collects on the print head, gets wiped into the waste ink tray and builds up to the point where it can actually get wiped back on the print head and cause nozzle clogs. And you'll see something like this where you'll have a, um, basically it's like a waterfall effect where the black is dropped out in this page where it's dropped out initially and then it recovers as the print goes down. So the print quality recovers but your first page out every day may or may not have some dropped colors. And there's, here's another example where it shows it in the, in the print quality page where it shows some of the nozzles are dropped initially and somewhat recover but it's a, it's a pretty significant quality issue. And here's an extreme example where some of the print heads on the, on the print bar are just completely clogged. And then here's another example. It can also show up in some other colors where, I don't know if you can see this very well, but the yellow on a couple of the heads is basically dropping initially and then it recovers. And we just keep calling that the watercolor effect, but it's, or waterfall effect. But it basically just means that the print head needs to be, needs to be cleaned off and switched to color lock paper. So to do this process, we'll come over here. The waste ink tray and the print head are both accessible from the side panel, the left side panel of the printer. So you'll take the waste ink tray out try to show this it's kind of hard to, this one's actually clean it's got some ink film on the roller on this roller bar but it's fairly clean and if you see a lot of buildup on that or in the matting underneath it I would just recommend just taking it to a sink and literally rinsing the rinsing the waste ink tray out as best you can and then wiping this roller down after after you're done rinsing and then just let it sit upside down and drip dry for a you know for five or ten minutes but this one's okay I just want to show that that there's nothing on here that's gonna be damaged by rinsing it off so the most important thing to do is um, there's a secondary bar here, a drop down lever where you just put pressure on that. Drop That drops down and back about an inch in here and then up, where it's gonna be impossible to see with the camera, but up about, back about an inch and up about a half inch that you'll actually can feel the surface of the print head. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a four by four piece of paper towel and I've folded it up and I've basically saturated it with a, with a with a, basically a flushing fluid for a, a print head flushing fluid. Now you can use distilled water, maybe distilled water with a shot of Windex on it or something like that, but what I want you to do is take it, fold that paper towel up till it's about a one inch square, put it back there and just hold it with your fingertips. It's a little tricky, but you can, you can feel it when it's on the print head surface and then you just wipe it back and forth. Now this printer wasn't having any problems, so I'll just wipe it back and forth a couple times. What you want to do is just get off any residual residue ink that's on the surface of the print head and then just take it out. Now this one was pretty clean so you don't really see much waste ink on there but in extreme cases you'll see a lot of ink show up on the rag. And then just after you're done wiping the print head off just close that down, close that back up, put in the waste ink tray again, shut the printer and after you do what you want to do is you'll want to do a print quality page after you do that and if you see some additional nozzle droppings just run a couple head cleaning processes and that should completely recover the print quality. Um, and that's it for this instructional video.